Hey guys, this is Alex Pierce from LightCellVR.com. Okay, I know with a title like this, there's gonna be a lot of people saying you can't use Mac for virtual production. Today I set up virtual production all on a 2018 MacBook Pro. All right, let's jump in. Okay, I wanna show you this uh, virtual production setup I have here, all running from the MacBook. So I have my camera system here, and I have my in-cam set up up here. I have the connection box attached right now. This could be all wireless. Our in-cam server. And then this is our Mac setup. So it's super portable. I don't even have power plugged in. Uh, just going Thunderbolt to the recorder. And if I needed SDI out, I could also plug this guy in through Thunderbolt. Um, and then I have this all set up in Live Effects. So the background is an HDRI. It's a 360 photo. And then it's tied to my camera tracking. So I can, for instance, I can zoom in or zoom out, and I can change the position based on my camera and the in-cam tracking. So right now I don't have it attached to my tracking. So when I pan the camera, the environment is just static. Now I've attached my in-cam here. Go ahead and press apply. And now when I move this, the environment tracks with me. It may be a little hard for you to tell, but what it also does is it creates a little parallax so it actually feels like your subject is actually in the 360 space if i tilt you'll see this a little better so you see how the subject sort of blocks a little bit of that house in the background and as i tilt up it's revealed so that's basically faking that parallax to make it feel like this is a 3d model so it's crazy to think this entire setup is running just off this Mac. Another thing I want to show you is how quick it is to set up live effects. So let's say our computer crashes for whatever reason. Um, I can go ahead and close this project. Okay, so Assimilate is not running right now. Let me show you how quick it is to open a project. So I'm not going to cut from here on out, okay? Okay, let's see. One, two, two seconds to open that. Enter project. Double click on that and we're rolling. This is, this is how fast it is to set up. So let's say you crashed, you would literally take you 10 seconds, 10 seconds to be back up and running. There are a few major benefits to using a system like this. It's extremely portable, extremely fast, extremely stable. And once you have it set up, it only takes about 10 seconds to open the project, apply tracking and start filming. I have been on sets where you're using a game engine for virtual production, and if you have a crash, you might wait 10, 20 minutes before your shaders compile, your tracking's back up, your SDI signal's working again, your time code's working. So when time and stability are important, live effects really is your friend. One way that a lot of people use virtual production is really just for simple set extension. For doing set extension, I think that live effects with an HDRI in the background can be a very, very simple and easy and stable and quick way to do it. I'm one of those weird people that's fluent in both Mac and PC, and I love and hate both of them. But I know there's a lot of people who are frustrated that they can't use a Mac, and in this video, I wanna show you one way that you can. Okay, that's it for this video. Make sure to subscribe, check out our other videos, all that stuff, and I'll see you in the next one.